As far as the trial itself, it was very unfair. We weren't allowed to, allowed to use our election expert under any circumstances. Uh, you saw what happened to some of the witnesses that were on our side. They were literally crucified by this man who looks like an angel, but he's really a devil. He looks so nice and soft. People say, oh, he seems like such a nice man. No, unless you saw him in action. And you saw that with a certain witness that went through hell. And when we wanted to do things, he wouldn't let him, he wouldn't let us do those things. But when the government wanted something, they got everything. They got everything they wanted. It's a rigged, it was a rigged trial. We wanted a venue change where we could have a fair trial. We didn't get it. We wanted a judge change. We wanted a judge that wasn't conflicted. And obviously he didn't do that. Uh, there's nobody's ever seen anything like it on what they call uh, crimes, crimes. They're falsifying business records. That sounds so bad. To me, it sounds very bad. You know, it's only a misdemeanor, but to me, it sounds so bad. When they say falsifying business, that's a bad thing for me. I've never had that before. I'm falsifying. You know what falsifying business records is? In the first degree, they say falsifying business records. Sounds so good, right? It means that legal expense, I paid a lawyer, totally legal. I paid a lawyer, a legal expense. And a bookkeeper, without any knowledge from me, correctly marked it down in the books. A very professional woman, highly respected, she testified. Marked it down in the books as a legal expense. So a legal expense, paid a lawyer, is a legal expense in the books. It's not uh, sheetrock, construction, or any other thing. It's a legal expense. Think of that. This is what the falsification of business records were. And I said, what else are you going to call it? What else are you going to call it? Now, I would have testified. I wanted to testify. The theory is you never testify, because as soon as you testify, anybody, if it were George Washington, don't testify, because they'll get you on something that you said slightly wrong, and then they sue you for perjury. But I didn't care about that. I wanted to, so because it's all the same thing. And it all comes out of the White House. Crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of our country. He's the worst president in the history of our country, the most incompetent. He's the dumbest president we've ever had. He's the dumbest president, most incompetent president, and he's the most dishonest president we've ever had. And so many of the, he's a Manchurian candidate. You take a look at the way he treats China, Russia, so many others. You know, I ended the Russian pipeline, it was dead. He comes in and he approves it. And he gets three and a half million, meaning three and a half million is paid to the family, his family, from the mayor of Moscow's wife. And I said, where did that come from? Nobody wants to talk about it. But he's a very big danger to- Whoa.